Hello, happy vlog week 36. Mm, 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 mm. Can you guys believe that we only have like four more months until the end of 2020? This week I hope it's going to be a little bit better than the last couple of weeks because I've definitely been in some kind of a funk, but I've just finished my period, which I'm like, yes! Honestly, now that I'm off my contraceptive implant, I have my period for like two days now and then it's gone. It's freaking amazing. Yeah. Guys, who remembers Rosie? Look, kiss. Someone said they recognise you on a vlog, Rosie. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. Mwah. New hair who this? Okay, so guys. We was meant to go to dim sum and it was so busy. It was like a three hour wait, wasn't it? Three hour wait. Try to go there for my fake UK birthday. <laughs> so basically today is my sister's real birthday. Should I tell the long winded story yes, that please. you guys are thinking load of bullshit? Yes. But hey, excuse for me to celebrate both days. <laughs> so basically I was born in Vietnam and in Vietnam we have like two calendars. So you either follow the Mon lunar calendar. Lunar, I was going to say monsoon. <laughs> monsoon. Uh, a month behind okay so technically i'm one month younger okay so i'm still trying to lift my youth over here so my mom she didn't recall what my english birthday was she only remember the 16th of july which is my asian date of birth but the thing with the asian date of birth it changes every year it moves back a month moves back two months whatever it is it's not consistent so when she put my birth certificate my passport she put down the 16th of july but when you convert into the british calendar it's meant to be the 31st of august so technically I'm a Virgo, not a Cancerian. Oh, see. Do you guys get it now? So we ended up going to this place instead, Tana Katsu. I've been dying to go here ever since lockdown. They do amazing like Japanese food and they've closed for ages and ages and they've only recently just opened up again after COVID. So I'm so excited. We're waiting for this damn table to fuck off. They're literally just sitting there and I'll just pay for your bills. I can take your table, bitch. Anyway, do you guys want to meet my niece, Joey? Look how pretty she is. She looks like she's in black pink. I'm not looking forward to having a baby, guys. This is my future. Oh my god. Hello, temper tantrum. So she was crying like a crazy person a minute ago. As soon as she put the phone out, bit of YouTube, now it's like. High five! Yay! Go! So we got chicken katsu curry here. And then look how cool this is, guys. This is a deep fried crispy egg. And then we got lots of sushi. Yum, 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 yum. Hello guys. Oh, I do not know what happened to me yesterday, but I got really, really ill yesterday. I literally had the worst night's sleep ever. I keep having like crazy diarrhea and I honestly felt so tired. I don't know why I keep having this feeling of like my hands and my toes having this like numb tingly feeling makes me a little bit nervous but obviously you know with the whole coronavirus situation every time i get a little bit ill i'm like oh my god i might have corona so me and gran are actually on our way to go to a test center and we're gonna go and get the coronavirus test i think you can actually get the test sent to your house but that takes a little bit longer so we decided just to like drive to the test center you stay in your car and stuff and you get the results a lot quicker right guys so we're at the drive through test testing unit they're like close all your windows open the back window a little bit and they literally shove through the test and we have to do our test ourselves we have to put on our hazard lights when we're done okay so apparently you have to blow your nose first to get rid of all the bogeys you know <sighs> oh that my ear pop okay i have to hide the camera because apparently there's no filming here so you have to put this in the back of your throat ah. <coughs> oh how do you know how deep to go I guess that's deep enough if it's making me gag. My gag reflex is not that strong, guys. Oh, Greg's vomiting over there. Now it's going in the nose. All right. Test tube is going in here. All right, and then this test tube is going in here. Okay, and then we're going to get our results in the next 48 hours. Hello, guys. It is the next day now. I'm feeling so much better. Yesterday, I actually threw up when I got home. It was so bad. I felt so dizzy. Had the runs again. Then yesterday, Grand found a house that was so freaking beautiful, guys. Like, so pretty. And I was like, oh my god, this is the house. Called them up, tried to arrange a viewing, and then afterwards, when I hanged up, I googled the location, and it was in Hastings. Hastings! That's, like, freaking right by the seaside, like, two hours away. 
Why? The house is just so perfect, guys. It was five double bedrooms. It had a jacuzzi, it had a sauna, it had bifolding doors, a massive kitchen. It was just so perfect. Literally right bang on our price range. And I was like, oh my God, it just came on the market. Let's go view it tomorrow. But then I had to call up and cancel because the house is just too far away. I don't know why Grant decided to put 40 miles in his search location because he just loves getting my hopes up, doesn't he? So I wanted to update you guys on my COVID results, which I literally just got emailed this morning. It says my coronavirus test was negative. Yay! I was actually doing so much research about COVID and stuff like that, and I don't think I had many of the symptoms. A lot of people said they had like a really bad pain in their chest and stuff like that. I didn't really have that. I just had more of like the fever, the chills, a really bad headache. And I'd done so much research yesterday, and I think I am prone to my migraines now and I think it gets triggered by hormones because I literally just about finished my period and I remember the last time I was really really ill as well do you guys remember like a couple weeks ago I was so ill on my like dying deathbed and that time I was also coming off my period as well or I was on my period at the time I can't remember it's definitely period related and I think it's definitely stress related as well ever since I started looking for this house and also trying to figure out what me and Guy are going to do for our anniversary which is literally next week Wednesday and I have nothing we still haven't booked anything so yeah that's something that's really stressing me and Grant out and then on top of that we're trying to get our deposit in order for us to buy a house we have to scroll back through years and years worth of our accounts and literally every single day our account is messaging us like what was this receipt or where is this and it's like how are you gonna remember what you bought like three years ago it's honestly nearly impossible so I feel really sorry for Grant he has to deal with all that but anyways I'm glad I'm feeling a lot better because I was really worried there for a second. Okay guys, do not mind how shiny I am. I have a hydrating face mask on right now because the last couple of days I have not been doing my skincare. I haven't even brushed my damn teeth. I was literally so ill and bedridden that I haven't been looking after myself. However, I just got the most exciting package ever. Bam, bitch. I got a package from Crocs. So they actually kindly even gifted Grang some pairs of Crocs as well. So he got the black version. And they also gave him a grey version, you know, if he's feeling a bit funky. Grang low-key really wanted a pair of Crocs as well. I was actually really surprised when he asked me to get him a pair. From Yeezys to Crocs. Okay, Grang. He's been hanging around with me for way too long. Excuse the mess, you guys know how it works around here, okay? Drawers are never closed. Mess is everywhere. You're just gonna have to deal with this messy background for now until I get my house, you know? And then we're gonna go from drab to fab. From rags to riches. Mm. Right now we're still in the rag section, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't wait to be up there in the riches. They were so freaking generous. They sent me two bags full of Crocs. Two bags full, guys! two bags full. When I put on my stories that I really want to try a pair of Crocs, I had a majority of people saying, oh my god, Tweet, get them. You'll start wearing them around your house and then eventually you just go around food shopping in them. And I'm like, girl, hell to the year, I'm gonna go food shopping in them. Oh my god, these are so cute. These kind of remind me of like Birkenstocks and apparently they fit really true to size. Are you gonna try on your Crocs, mister? How do you feel about Crocs? You loving them? I don't feel really comfortable. See, I don't think they look that bad. Okay, maybe try on the black pair. These little popper things they all come out but you can buy all these fun things to like decorate your crocs all right cinderella oh my god you literally look like you're working at a hospital with those trousers do we like the black or do we like the gray i actually prefer the gray you know okay next up we have oh how cute are these little white pair these remind me of like jelly shoes who remembers jelly shoes so these are size four in the uk or size six in America. Next up we have a white pair of Crocs. These actually look so pretty. Like I saw on their Instagram page someone was wearing these with like a really really cute like summery dress and I thought these look so cute. They have this like cool pattern inside so it kind of like massages your feet I guess. Apparently once you buy a pair you never have to replace them because they're like industrial. And they're actually made in Vietnam as well. Woo -woo representing hey the cool thing about crocs is that they're actually made from all one material so a lot of shoes you'll find that the sole is like 
attached on but then you know over time with wear and tear the sole will eventually like you know come loose have you ever had your shoe flapping before i remember before when i was trying to pass my driving test i had these one pair of boots that i got at like shoe zone who remembers shoe zone and i wore them so much that there was a hole at the front and my boots were literally talking they were like saying hey how how you doing at the front and i remember saying they were my lucky boots because i wore them so much it literally molded to my feet and that was the only shoes that I could practice in my driving lessons because it literally felt like I was wearing nothing because I wore them boots that much that they literally like had my toe imprint in them the toe was coming up to the front so I can press on the clutch you know what I'm saying you know like ET you wouldn't go oh <laughs> this is like a really cute grey pair this is the iconic crocs comfort slippers i love the grey in these really nice and neutral and then last but not least i am so excited for these ones right here these look so comfortable the sole looks so nice and like squishy this is their light ride crocs they have like an extra padding in there it kind of is raised a little bit right by the heel of your foot if you want comfort but you don't really like the look of crocs these are gonna be so cute. Like they just look like normal black sandals. I'm gonna tell you guys a really funny story, right? So I used to work on a makeup counter and I used to have to like stand up for like, I don't know, it felt like 10 hours in a day. And I remember by the end of the day, my feet used to be so painful. So my sister got me onto the world of sketches. Has anyone ever had sketches before? Let me tell you, they are so comfortable, but they make your feet stink. Absolutely stink like rotten cheese like if you smell a bag of Cheetos and then you went over to my foot after sketches you wouldn't even know the difference because they just smell so cheesy every single time i put them on i can smell the funky funk but then obviously as soon as you put your foot in it's like oh it's so comfortable so it's worth the smell and one time i went to go have lunch and then i kind of like took my shoes off you know i wanted to relax on my break and then someone came into the room and was like oh my god is someone cooking like cheese or something because it smells really bad in here and i was like oh yeah someone just left something in the microwave but it was my foot my foot was the cheesiness my foot was a cheesy microwave. I had the worst breakdown of my life yesterday. I don't know what happened. The last couple of weeks, right, have been like quite challenging. Okay, that's the word that I'm going to use. You know, I'm always the type of person to always try to see the positive of everything. And I always try to like push everything down and always remind myself how lucky I am, how grateful I am of everything. I don't know what happened to me yesterday. I feel like everything that I've been suppressing inside the depths of my soul literally came out yesterday. And I was just like a blubbering mess i was crying so much like the worst i've ever cried in like such a long time it kind of started brewing like you know this week i had quite a rough week i was really really ill at the start of the week feeling really sad and sorry for myself and then there was also a lot of emails that was coming from my accountant and my previous accountant messed up so many of my accounts which has now made it really hard for us to get the amount of money that we need from my company into my personal bank account very frustrating guys if i went into the whole subject i feel like i would be here for a whole year chatting your ear off so i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to know all the stuff behind the scenes financial wise on top of that as well we just heard that Graham has to officially decide on the 18th of september if he wants to go back to work or not and that is the deadline that they're giving him also i've been working on this really amazing collaboration behind the scenes that was actually meant to be launched in april but obviously with covid everything was pushed back and then because of covid we had to switch manufacturers because our factory closed down and then yesterday i got the samples and it was just like oh i just wanted to rip my hair out because it was like i was starting all over again i don't want to get into it now because i'm gonna start crying again i feel like you know i'm trying to like hold it in but i also want to update you guys at the same time anyways if you guys have been following my stories you guys will know that i was talking in my stories about these grapes i know this sounds so like stupid now that i look back at it i'm like why did you get upset over this but basically i found these amazing grapes in sainsbury's <laughs> they were so good that I told Gran to go back and buy some more grapes, right? Obviously, I shouldn't have done that because men can never be trusted buying fresh produce. He bought five packets of like soggy, yellow, stale ass grapes that no one wants and now I'm left with these damn grapes. I know this sounds really stupid, but it was just like one disappointment after another disappointment. And on top of that as well, you guys know that I've been stressing about 
this freaking anniversary that we have coming up next week wednesday oh guys it's just been so far show we've been trying to find like hotels we've been trying to look at going away and we wanted to find something in our budget and we didn't know if we should travel really far or go really close but the hotels that are really close were really expensive anyways that we might have to spend a little bit extra and go far do you know what i mean so that's like the thing that we've been playing up and it's just like a lot of these niggly things have really been stressing me out like my mic broke the other day and then on top of that the screw on the wall has now come loose because the walls in this house is so old that you can't screw into it anymore we have to drill into a special spot in the wall otherwise if you just drill anywhere the screw doesn't attach to the wall and it just starts to crumble because the walls are so old in this house and then another thing like i went to go press on the lamp the other day and it was broken and it was just like why is everything breaking around me and i just started crying i just started bursting out crying on top of that I told Gran to go get me some water and because I was crying I thought that he would you know cheer me up and get me some grapes I thought he would have thought outside the box and be like oh Twee would like grapes so I thought he would come upstairs wash some grapes for me along with my water but no he didn't he literally just took my literal words as go get me some water he came up with the water so I was like why can't he read my mind I don't know why I'm so difficult guys it's the Gemini in me it's the crazy in me and then afterwards I was like why didn't you get me grapes like, I thought you'd want to make me happy because I'm crying blah blah so he went downstairs to go get some grapes and then when he came upstairs he bring his mouldy box of grapes and that's when I lost it guys I fucking lost it I wanted to just pick up the grapes and just throw it in there and literally throw myself out the window because it was like disappointment after disappointment and it just took that one box of grapes to just fucking make my screw go loose and I know I sound so crazy right now but it was just like the straw that broke the camel's back anyways after that breakdown that I had yesterday this morning when I woke up today I was like I've had enough guys I've had enough I'm just gonna book my fucking holiday fuck the house if the house doesn't happen it doesn't happen but I just need to go away I can't live like this no more I feel like I'm living inside of my work and I have no escape I keep starting and stopping this camera because I want to say the right words. Otherwise, I feel like if I say the wrong words, I'm going to start welling up and I do not want that to happen. I think it just... Oh my God, it's so annoying. It's coming out, so I might as well just freaking talk because otherwise I'll just be here forever. Yesterday, when everything kind of started to get on top of me, I just felt that everything was like disappointing. And then I went onto my Instagram and I uploaded a video and I went onto my YouTube and everything was just like on minus all the time. When you live inside of where you work and then when your work isn't very good at the moment, you feel like there's no escape. This isn't even half of the breakdown that I had yesterday. I don't know why I'm crying because I know it's such first world problems. That's what annoys me the most, you know. I always say to myself like this fucking people dying out here and losing jobs and I'm just frustrated over f losing followers, being on minus and not being able to find a house. Like that's something so stupid to be upset over. And I know it, that's why I'm even more upset at myself. It's like a constant circle constant catch 22 you know so in the end we decided to book the Maldives so we're literally flying on Sunday so as you guys are watching this video I'm probably on a flight already but me and Graham have been on the phone to Emirates who we're flying with and everyone who goes on the flight has to test negative and has to have a certificate so we're literally on our way now to go and get the certificate and get another Covid test this time it's going to be done by a professional so I'm a little bit nervous and then we also have a layover in Dubai and I was like we might as well just stay in Dubai for a little bit so we're gonna stay in Dubai for five nights I'm gonna be gone for the next two weeks guys I've got a video coming up on Wednesday the red smoky eye makeup tutorial that's gonna come up on Wednesday because that was already pre-filmed and then we're gonna try our best to kind of keep you guys updated on the vlogs on Sundays and then I think I'm gonna miss a Wednesday because we'll be out in Dubai and I won't have a video ready in time because I literally have two days to unpack my suitcase for my Kershaw trip that trip happened in January guys January and it's September now and I still haven't unpacked because I just don't have space to put any of the ski gear or ski boots or anything inside of my wardrobe yeah guys I'm gonna end the vlog here not on a sad note I am really really happy now I actually have something to look forward to I haven't had anything to look forward to this whole year like this whole year has been terrible thank you so much for sticking with me I promise next week's vlog is gonna be so much more entertaining you guys are gonna come on vacation with us we are gonna be relaxing watching sunsets i'm gonna try to 
read a book for the first time in like four years. I couldn't think of anywhere better to spend me and Greg's 12 year anniversary than on the beach in Maldives, somewhere where we've always wanted to go. I'll see you guys next week in the Maldives. All right guys, so we're gonna go get our second COVID test of the week he literally was on the phone all morning to emirates who we're flying with and they said you had to get a special certificate there's a couple around that area it costs us like 150 pound each so quite expensive to do it privately but that's the only way to get a certificate because the nhs doesn't provide it and a text isn't good enough so you have to get like a proper like pdf form sent to your account are you excited to get a little sticker up your nose again free test just to go away i know guys yeah one to go to the maldives one to go back to dubai one back from dubai to london there's gonna be a lot of earbuds in our noses for the next couple of weeks but we just really need it man are you excited yes we finally get to go away <laughs> Graham has been the one that has been drilling to go away. Like, he's been so stressed recently, guys. Like, yes, I honestly felt like he was going to burst into tears. And then later on, it was me that burst into tears. In the end, Graham got his way, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just fucking book it. It wasn't just that. It was all the accountant staff, and the money that we was meant to be getting out just didn't work out, and it was driving me insane, so... So we decided to spend even more money. So we decided to spend more money, even though we don't have any money. I feel like me and Grant, honestly, we haven't had anything to look forward to. There's nothing that's been like just an escape. Like we've been working all throughout quarantine. There's probably been like 5% change in our lifestyle since the coronavirus happened. Like we've just been going, going, going. And you know, like we thought that we can do it. But now that we look back on things like that's not normal, you know, like this is like a worldwide pandemic and people are having a time to like relax and chill and we've just been working flat non-stop so we're really excited just to go away and we're still going to do work while we're out there because we've gone for like two weeks we're still going to try to edit the vlogs and stuff and when we come back we'll be so much more relaxed hopefully we'll be raring to go hopefully there'll be a new house in the market that's all we hope for guys we run away from our problems. Yeah, basically. Oh my God, we just done our COVID test and this time, professional done it for us. Oh my God, he literally shoved it so far up. I swear it like tickled my nose hair, which is normally where it kind of like, it starts toddling by then. He kept going further and further. I swear it was touching like right up to my eye. And he was like twiddling, twiddling for so long. I was closing my eyes and I started to see yellow. So he also stuck the thing at the back of my throat and he was like, say, ah, ah, and it was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Hopefully we get our results by Saturday. And Saturday. it's Thursday today. And we're flying on Sunday. <laughs> we're cutting it really short, guys. This is the epitome of YOLO. Happy vlog week 36. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, Graham, I've got a joke for you. Oh. What do you call a bear that has no teeth? Bear teeth. <laughs> a gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I had to quickly tell you before I forgot. Okay, bye. 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 I look like I've got a tarantula coming out of my ears. What's up with this? I look like I've been electrocuted. I have all this hair and it just goes to waste, guys. I was about to say, Cinder, Cinderella, let down your hair. But I'm pretty sure it's not Cinderella. You guys want to know all the problems I'm running away from? All of this. All of this recycling. Yep, that's what I'm running away from. Look how bad my toenails are, guys. I need to go to get a pedicure stat. I told you to get a size eight. He tries to insist that he's a size nine, bitch. I seen that, Willie. You a size eight, girl. 